Okay. Let's talk Terminator Dark Fate. So it is no secret to anyone who has followed me on social media, uh, watches my Twitch channel, or watches my YouTube channel, I have been a gigantic fan of Terminator for years, and I have slowly been getting more and more disappointed with how the series goes, and that started with Terminator 3, and it got worse with Salvation. Genesis, I didn't mind. Like, I thought it was alright, but it just didn't have that James Cameron feel to it. That all changes with Terminator Dark Fate. And I got to admit, this, in my opinion, is the best Terminator since Terminator 2. And it has to do so much with how the story progresses. Um, that's a big, important part of it. But the thing that really shines the most is the cast. You do see the return of Linda Hamilton with um, the Sarah Connor role, much more old, much more grizzled, a lot more cold than she was before. And I'm not going to tell you why, but old school Terminator fans, I'm going to tell you this right now, you are going to get pissed off within like the first two minutes of the film. I'm not going to say why, but something big that you think mattered turns out doesn't really matter so much anymore. So you have the return of Sarah Connor, who, for lack of a better term, is kind of broken throughout the course of this movie, dealing with trying to prevent a, a future that isn't exactly the future that she thought she stopped that ultimately her efforts prove futile because Judgment Day is ultimately inevitable. But she's not alone in the cast. You have Mackenzie Davis playing Grace, who is actually from the year 2042 and is a cybernetically augmented soldier that works for the human resistance sent back in time to protect Danny Ramos, played by Natalia Reyes who I have to say, not just because she's the main protagonist, she is the star of the show. Simply out of the fact that you see her grow, courage-wise, adult-wise, understanding the gravity of the situation, you see this progression, and that progression is very well done throughout the entire course of the film, all while they're being pursued by the Rev-9, played by Gabriel Luna who is, hands down, probably the most terrifying Terminator you have ever seen. Not only because he's a machine sent from the future, and he can jump around and flip and turn his hands into black metal blades and stuff like that, but the fact that he is actually a two-in-one Terminator. He is part machine, and then he is part T-1000 liquid metal and they can actually separate and act independently of each other to accomplish uh, their objective, and that is that is a very terrifying thing to deal with. So these three have to band together, try to figure out a way to stop the Rev-9, and ultimately try and go for help, where we finally see the return of Arnold Schwarzenegger as a Terminator, as a T-800, now going by the name of Carl who has been activated for so long, uh, just kind of wandering around the earth, that he has learned to acclimate himself to society to the point that this Terminator actually has an adopted family. He has an adopted son. He actually has his own business where he does... Well, stuff. Go watch the movie, because trust me, it's hilarious. But he's a Terminator that has essentially learned how to completely and totally be human and has basically grown the machine equivalent of having a conscience and having remorse. Because there's definitely more to his character than meets the eye. I'm not going to go into that right now. Just wait for the spoiler review. But overall... 
I want to say the runtime of the movie is about, what, two hours, 20 minutes? It's very, very well done. Action scenes are what you expect. They're, you know, over-the-top action scenes. Um, most of it not very believable, but, I mean, it's movies. Suspension of disbelief and all that type of stuff. The big focus is the story. And the story is better than it's ever been, at least in my opinion. You can take your my opinion for however you want. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I would happily go see it again. And I can't wait to see what they do with this franchise. Uh, the only thing I really kind of was chuckling at, as far as the plot goes, is they, they pay homage to everything, and they don't discredit the events of Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. That Judgment Day, Sarah Connor stopped. She straight up stopped it. But now they're dealing with this new scenario that she was not prepared for. And it's like what the Terminator said in Terminator 3, Judgment Day is inevitable. Like, I'm just kind of waiting for this whole multiverse thing to happen. Like, Doctor Strange is just going to appear out of nowhere. And I'm like... There are 9,700,463 multiverses. Every single one of them has Terminators. So, <laughs> it, it, seem, it really kind of seems like, at least with this franchise, which I understand because if you don't have them, then you don't have a movie franchise. It's like, no matter the outcome, there's always a damn Terminator. <laughs> but at least we're seeing the change of how these Terminators come to be. The... Um, Again, God, this this is very hard to do and not be spoilerific. So maybe this is something just better saved for the uh, the spoiler review. Go see the movie. Go see the damn movie. It's a ton of fun. You're gonna have a blast. If you love Terminator, you're gonna find things that you love about it. I'm sure there will be one or two things you hate about it. But hey, I had a ball with it. Would happily go see it again. That's just is how it is. Take my opinion for whatever you like. Go see the movie. Go make up your damn mind yourself all that type of stuff damn i'm tired but thank you very much for watching the review let me stop before i like start rambling all over the damn place let me know what you think about terminator if you already saw it down in the comments below did you have fun did you like it did you hate it let me know down in the comments and if you could leave a like rating on the video i'd greatly appreciate that and hit that subscribe button if you're new thanks again for watching everybody and i'll see you guys later